T-Mobile important in terms of getting the fans involved? It speaks for itself. I think it's the beginning of a great and ongoing tradition that the NBA has had, and it puts the fans in the middle of the ball. Next up, Josh Howard. We have three mics, so you guys can share a little bit. What would it mean to participate in this year's game with Dallas being the host city in front of an anticipated record crowd? It would mean a lot. You know, just being the city I've played for my whole career, giving the fans the opportunity to see me represent the team, you know, it would be a great experience. Thanks, Josh. Now, Jason Terry, we brought a fastball in for Jason Terry after lobbing up some softballs in the first two. Jason, you know there's a lot of talent on this year's ballot. The forwards in the Western Conference, for example, somehow you've got to choose just two players in a group of Tim Duncan, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Durant, David West, and, of course, the two guys on the end of the stage here, Sean Marion and Dirk Nowitzki. How do you plan to do that? I'm going with the home team. <laughs> Dirk and Sean. Good answer. <laughs> Next, Jason Kidd. Now, Jason, you've been selected as a starter by the fans on numerous occasions. Curious how closely the players follow the returns as they come in and what kind of uh, an impact that has on them as they're watching that. Well, I think um, some guys do watch the voting uh, a little bit too close. But, <laughs> uh, but also it can help you because uh, when guys are playing well and uh, they need a couple votes, uh, you can use that to your benefit. So, uh, Hopefully all five of these guys up here will be representing the Mavs uh, come All-Star break uh, this week oh, in February. Next up, a question for Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, talk about what it would mean to you to be selected as a starter with the NBA All-Star game here right in the bench of flights. Well, it would be just great to represent. I think just a, a great organization and a, and a great city of Dallas. You know, to me, it never really matter if I start or not. Uh, just to be there, to be a part of the weekend and represent a great city and the franchise is always fun for the last couple of years and I'd love to do it again this year and we'll see what happens. All right, next up we have a question for all five of our Maverick players here on stage and that is, how do you plan on making your choice for the vote? Do you plan on doing it through balloting at the arena? Is your vote going to be done through social networking? Is it going to be done through text messaging? What's your plan to do that? Sean? Text. <laughs> Twitter. Do Twitter. Fantastic. Josh, your plan? Ballot. Do the ballot, which you can do yeah, at each right. NBA arena. Yeah, no tip, no stuff. <laughs> All right, next up, Jason Terry. Jason? I just signed a long deal with T Mobile. <laughs> 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 I don't know, Jason, if, Jason Kidd, if you're in that deal or not, but uh, NBA.com, social networking, text messaging, how do you plan to make your vote? Uh, NBA.com. All right. And lastly, I know Dirk's really big into social networking and texting. <laughs> uh, I go to NBA.com, too. All right. Fantastic. Again, you have a number of different ways that you can vote on the All-Star Game and vote in the 120 players that are on the ballot for the 2010 All-Star Game. What we need to do right now, though, is we need to have a ceremonial first votes cast. And what I think we need right now is a ballot. So bringing that ballot up to the stage, accompanied by members of the Mavericks dance team, is Mavericks mascot, Champ. <laughs> stage to vote, but they're not sending in a to-go order for tonight's dinner. They are texting their votes in, or you can do it by calling to 69622 or at MyNBA. Our distinguished panel is now going to cast the ceremonial first ballots for the 2010 NBA All-Star Game. Beginning with Mayor Tom Leppard, coming up to the center of the stage mayor, and he will cast his votes for the forwards in the Western Conference 
Go ahead and pick two, please. Let me tell you, Mark, this is the easiest job that I've had since being mayor in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it my choice, I'm with Jeff. I've been out, I've seen how much he's done in the community. He and I are in the same position. Two great guys, two great ball players, and two Dallas Mavericks. That's Dirk, and that's Sean. <laughs> Dirk and Sean win the Western Conference forward vote. <laughs> Next, we've got Mark Cuban, and we put him in a very difficult position because he gets to vote for the guards in the Western Conference. Mark, it's a tough task. You've got three Maverick players in this category. All right. It's actually pretty easy, even though there's three guys. So I'm going to vote for Jet. Because he's Jeff. <laughs> that sounds I'm, reasoning. I'm going to vote for Jay Ho because he deserves it. It's Josh Howard. Now, Jason Kidd, because he's sitting right here, I'm going to text it in. I'm like, normal sidekick. I'm not paid for it because I have to shop like everybody else, but I'm going to send it in. Kidd. J six nine six two two. Two D. Oh yeah, K I G D. And it says thanks for voting for Team Mobile R Star Ballot. See, it works. Very cool. There you go. <laughs> he handled that very very well. That avoids any sort of recount situation or hanging chat. So it's nice to know. Next, we bring out Amy McHugh, the Vice President of Sales of T-Mobile, and Amy is going to vote for a Western Conference Center. Amy, go ahead and pick one. So I've noticed that there's a problem here. There's no Maverick here, right? So I think that there's a write-in vote here. So I believe I'm going to put in Mr. Dan Pierre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> McHugh, the Vice President of Sales and T-Mobile. Next, we're going to go to the Eastern Conference. Voting for the forwards in the East are Sean Marion and Josh Howard, and a reminder, you get to vote for one player each. So first, Sean, come up to the stage. Uh, very hard. I believe you'll uh, you'll need this. Here you go. Yes, Good players, you think? <laughs> LeBron's all right. <laughs> I think he'll probably get a vote or two this year in the pan ballot. Maybe so. All right, next up, Josh Howard to vote for one more of the forwards for the Eastern Conference All-Star team. Uh, I'm going to vote for David Lee because he's a double-double constantly and never gets the recognition he deserves. All right. All right. And David Lee is the University of Florida and the New York Knicks. Next up, guards from the Eastern Conference. We'll be asking a pair of Jasons to do this. First of all, Jason Terry. All right. You might need this. You got it? I can hold that. I'll send in a vote or two while we do that. I'm going for my former team and a former teammate, Arizona alum, Mike Bibby. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason Terry casts a ballot for Mike Bibby, the Atlanta Hawks. Next up, Jason Kidd with another vote for the Eastern Conference Guards. Right, for you? Thanks. Uh, I'm going to go with the young guard that's uh, up and coming. He can uh, fill up the stat sheet. He's, out of, he's playing with Boston. I'm going to go with Rondo. Rondo. 